Hey guys, I'm Hester and welcome to Handmade Home. When looking out in a plastic sheet shop, oh my god, too many S's for my accent. Let me try that again. The plastic sheets shop. When they contacted me asking if I could use one of their acrylic sheets in one of my makes, I was very intrigued. I've never used acrylics or plexiglass before in one of my DIY projects. So I started researching the material and all of a sudden I had this whole notebook full of ideas because the material is just so versatile. But I settled on this rope shelf. Let me show you how easy it is to make. You're gonna need three acrylic sheets. Mine are 45 by 15 centimeters and six millimeters thick. You're gonna need some paracord. I'm using one that's five millimeters thick. Two D-rings. You're gonna need a drill with a two millimeter and a five millimeter drill piece. Also need a scissor, a pen, a ruler, piece of scrap paper and a lighter. On the scrap piece of paper, just mark uh, two centimeters from each side and make this little hole. We're gonna use this as a little template for where you're gonna drill the hole. So it's just easier to merge it on one piece of paper than do every corner separate. So just marking this two centimeters on each side and press my pen through, make a little template. Now you're gonna mark on all the three shelves, all four corners. Drill the holes using your two millimeter drill piece. Don't put too much pressure on the drill. Just let the drill do its job. Once these holes are drilled, use your five millimeter drill piece and just gently make the hole a bit bigger. Now peel off the protective film on both sides of your shelves. The drilled holes should be nice and smooth, not require any sanding. Cut your paracord in four lengths of 130 centimeters. Once you measured out the first one, just use that as a, as a guide how long the other ones need to be. And on every end, put a little bit of tape just to make it easier to push the rope through the holes. Then you push the rope through the holes of the first shelf. Measure 30 centimeters from the beginning of your row and tie a little knot. You're also gonna tie a knot just underneath the shell. Do this with the other three pieces of rope as well. It's time to attach your D-ring to uh, one side of the shelf. I just simply wrapped the rope around the D-ring once and made one little knot. With both ropes attached to the D-ring, you're gonna trim the white inside of the rope and you're gonna cinch it with a lighter. Just gonna wrap it around one of the main strands Clamp it in place with your pliers, if you don't want to burn your fingers. And then carefully cinch the ends. It will stop it from fraying. And also it's really nice to squeeze both sides together. So you have a nice uh, clean end. Put the second shelf in place exactly the same way as the first one. You simply push the rope through. Only this one is going to sit on 20 centimeters from the first shelf. So on 20 centimeters, make a little knot. Same again with the last shelf, only this one is gonna sit on 30 centimeters. So just simply knot it in place again. And all you need to do is trim the end bits of your rope and fray them out a little bit for a nice effect.
Isn't that the cutest way of showing my favorite plants? I really love the look of these shells and by using the pink paracord and almost the mountaineering style D-rings, it really gives a bit of a quirky accent to these uh, rope shells. And because of the clear acrylic, it's a really light looking project as well. It won't take up too much space in your interior. And I use this for plants, but you can use the shelves for whatever you like, of course. Use it for your books, maybe to display your uh, collection, maybe some artworks your kids made. Whatever you want, they will look perfect on this shelving. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps with my ratings. And have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com for more craft ideas for your home. I'll be back soon with a new video. Hope to see you then.